today we're going to make a very easy snowman. Um, it's going to be a cutout snowman, just his head, his face with a little hat on it. So I'm starting with a nine inch round cake. It doesn't really have to be nine inch. You could do eight inch or um, 10 inch, whatever you kind of prefer. I just happen to have nine inch um, in the freezer. So that's why I chose nine inch. And uh, so this is going to be for his main part of his face. And then this part over here, these are just extra um, pieces of sheet cake that I had. So I'm going to use those to create the hat portion of the snowman. Um, you could just use a quarter sheet cake, bake a quarter sheet, and so you have um, the cake. Like I said, I just kind of have these extra strips from another project that I did um, that I used a full sheet cake and, and had these remnants left over. So I just uh, saved them for this project. Okay, but. Like I said, quarter sheet, um, you can go with for that. Then we want a um, couple of boards. Um, I'm using the double wall cardboards taped together. And this is, I believe this is an 18 inch, but let me just double check because I had the 20 there also. Yep, 18 inch, so two 18 inch cardboards taped together and I'll cover these with foil in a little while. Um, but what I wanna do first is just kind of measure uh, where this is gonna go. Okay, so if I have his face here, then what I do want to do is place his hat, obviously, above it here. So I just kind of will place the cake on here first. I'm also going to want to do the, the brim of the hat. So sometimes what I do for a guide is I'll just take a bag of buttercream, and this just has a tip, like a, looks like it's a number six. Uh, you don't even have to have a tip in here for this. It's just to mark your design. If you don't feel comfortable marking your own design, what you could do is um, get a picture of a snowman face off the internet and um, blow it up, enlarge it, and then use that as a template for your um, own snowman. So let me actually put this on the turntable so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. So um, to envision where the brim of the hat needs to go, what I usually do, and let's see if I can do it upside down, I wanna start with just, so his mouth will be down here Okay, and then his nose, um, and then his eyes. Okay, so you want to make sure you leave plenty of room, eyebrows. Doesn't it look like a great snowman? <laughs> um, so I want to leave plenty of room for that. So I'm going to have the brim of the hat right about here, um, having it be a little bit curved. Okay, let's see if that looks about right. So it needs to kind of come out here a bit and then come up at the top. So you can just kind of mark it like this, okay? Um, I could have actually put a few more pieces of cake on there first, um, but what I'm gonna do, you can either leave this cake and then add cake in here for the brim of the hat. Um, to do that, what I can do is just take out some of this cake here and actually have this fit closer. So I'll probably end up having to make the cat just a tiny bit taller, but see how I made that fit there and you can curve it a bit, like so. And if I do a little bit more, then I can actually get the whole brim in there. So i cut a little wedge out here. Just kind of bend the cake there a little bit. Okay, so take this again. So this kind of makes this, um, I would actually need that to be a little bit taller now. Um, but basically it'll be around like this. 